So, the Chase Qualifier, also over two miles and three furlongs here at Ningfield, which is our penultimate race here. So, the runners are as follows. Number one is Word is My Bond Super for Martin Leland, Lanley Sultane for Thomas Rogers, Media Agency for Paul Rhodes, Operation Bluebell for Craig Knott for Pontypool Racing, Damage Control for Josh Sutherland, Kazban Trip for Alex Cherry, Admiral Escoli for Martin Leland, Baylow Class for James Shea, Avon Exotic for Stu Gray, Top Shelf for Greg Beckwith, Monumental Madness for Paul Rhodes, Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry, Coralia Dobrovny for Thomas Rogers, Mandolin Matter for James Shea, and Lilith Valian Ronkino for Obi Wan make up 16. Over two miles shy of a half. The start has got them away. Straight into the first. Oh, and we've lost one. Straight off the first. Brilliant melody's gone for Alex Cherry. Unlucky. That one comes pretty fast. Small ditch. And we've lost another. This time it's Lanley Sultane that's gone. So we're two down after the first two fences. And we're being led by Mandolin Natter. So Mandolin Natter leads by a couple from Lily of the Valley. And your word is my bond super. Mid course up against the fences. Alex Cherry's other runner, Kazban Trip. Widest of all, there is Baylow Class, and they're followed through by Coralie of Dubrovni. The grey up against the fences, Admoy Scully. And a length back to Avon Exotic, Monkino and the Yellow Silks on the outside. And top shelf for Craig Beckwith, a couple of full roads horses, Media Agency, Monumental Madness. A sandwich in Operation Bluebell for Craig. Craig. I keep calling uh, Grey Clutterbuck. Craig Beckwith, as they all go over the we've lost another one this time. It's Avon Exotic for Stu Gray. He's out, winner last time. Didn't stand this week. We're at the fourth. And we'll get over that. They do. But it's Mandolin Natter. That'll be the last next time round. But it's Mandolin Natter that leads. Oh no, this will be the last next time round. All confusion at Lingfield here. And Mandolin Natter leads by length and a half to Baylow Clasp. Along with Word is My Bond Super. Lilia the Valley up against the fence. Kazban Trip. And they're just uh, a length away from Coralia to Brogny. And we've got a couple of lengths back to. Operation Bluebell, media agency out wide, the grab against the fence is Admiral Scully. And the second of the Obi Wan horses, Ron Kino. And the length back to Monumental Madness, damage control, top shelf. But it's Mandolin Natter that still leads us. By length and a half to Lily of the Valley. Baylow class on the wide outside, word is my bond super and Kazban trip. Korolev Dubrovny. Operation Bluebell Media Agency, the Grey Admiral Scully. As they come down to the next, it's Mandolin Natter that's going to lead them over it, jumps it well. The rest are over it, a couple of slow jumps towards the rear top shelf. Damage control, I think, is a hurdler. Dropping down into a chase to get a run. As they all go to the seventh, they'll take it well, but the four at the back are still jumping pr pretty poorly. A Ronkino monumental man is damage control top shelf as we get to the eighth. The leaders are over it this time. Mandolin Nasa went through the top of it and allowed Lily of the Valley to take it up. So Lily of the Valley leads now as Mandolin Nasa pushes back through big open ditch. They're all over that as well, but it's still Lily of the Valley. It leads by length and a half now to Mandolin Nasa. Then word is my bond super as he moved into third on his inside his Kazban trip on the outside of that is Operation Bluebell. Then Coralia de Brovny for Thomas Rogers, followed through by a couple of Paul Rhodes horses, which are media agency and monumental madness. Baylow class is between those, and then a length back just to the grey running on his own, Admiral Scully. And the three at the rear as they go over the tenth, a couple of mistakes there, Max didn't get over it particularly well. But it's Lily of the Valley that leads, and Mandolin Natter comes and joins him. Where does my bond super on the outside? They all skip over that one. So with three to jump, it's Mandolin Natter and Lily of the Valley. Word is my bond super. Length back to Coralie of Dubrovni. Media range, she's moved up well. Baylow Clasp is still there. But up front, it's Mandolin Natter that just noses ahead now from Lily of the Valley up against the rail. Word is my bond super is sitting pretty. Coralie of Dubrovni making up a little bit of ground. Kazban Trip trying to make up for his fault earlier on. So we're inside the final half mile, and is Mandolin Natter going to be taken on by Kazban Trip on the outside. And it's Alex Jerry's Kazban Trip that moves up. Starts to take it up now from Mandolin Natter's fighting back on the inside. Followed through is Monumental Madness. And they're starting to pull away from the rest of the pack now as we come down to the 12th, which is three from home. And it's Kazban Trip gets over it. Pecks a little bit on landing from Monumental Madness on his outside. Mandolin Natter starting to go backwards. We're out on the wide outside. His Grand Clutch Bucks Operation Blue Bell. Mandolin Natter, Baylow Class, Kazban Trip, Monumental Madness. These three have pulled away as they get down to the last. The leaders go straight through the top of it, and that's allowed a couple to come out of nowhere. And that's Coralie de Dubrovnik. Coralie de Dubrovnik is the one that knows his forward first. From where is my bond super? And it's Coralie de Dubrovnik that's stolen this from mistakes at the last. And it's Coralie de Dubrovnik 
wins it by a good couple of lengths. Fast finishing, uh, word is my bond, and top, top shelf. But it's a good win there for Thomas Rogers with Corridy over Dubrovny. Qualifiers fires for the final. Word is my bond super got up for second. There's a steward's inquiry. There was a bit of jostling getting through that. It will be a shocker if Corridor of Dubrovny's lost it. Let's wait and see. Haven't seen many DQs in SO7. No, he hasn't. He's taken it. Corridor of Dubrovny takes it for Thomas Rogers. Well done. Word is my bond super. Top weight for Martin Eden was second. Baylow class for James Say was third. Top chef for Craig Beckwith was fourth. Monumental Madness for Paul Rhodes was fifth. And the two leaders, which were Mandolin Natter, I think, at that time, and Casbah and Tripp, who both went through the top of it, finished nowhere. So we'll just move on to our last race from Lingfield, and we'll move on to the Hunter Chases.